Hi, it's Mike Thornton, and in this demo video, I'm going to show you some of the new features Isotope have introduced in RX8. Let's start with the guitar denoise module. There are three sections in this module, all available in both RX8 Standard and RX8 Advanced. So firstly, we have Amp, and this has been optimized to handle all your unwanted sounds from your guitar amp. Squeak handles those annoying squeaks that you can sometimes get as a player slides up or down a string, and pick, which enables you to control the amount of the pick sound. Here's a clip of an electric guitar recording. And as you can hear, it's got that classic buzz that you can sometimes get from an amp, especially if your guitar has a single coil pickup. Now, before I'd have used a combination of de-hum and spectral denoise to deal with this, so let's see what we can do with the amp section. You can see that it's uh, not highlighted and I can't turn it on. What you need to do is to get it to learn the profile. And the best thing to do is to give it some clean noise, clean buzz, if you can ever have such a thing, and then click on the learn button. And now it's analyzed it and you can see that it's enabled the amp module. Now I'm just going to disable the squeak module because I don't want that at the moment. And let's just take a quick listen. Well, that's a lot, lot better. Now, if we hover over the resolution control here, the tooltips tells us that it controls the number of notch filters to apply. And you can see that it's 128. Now compare that with the 16 notch filters that there are in the new version of DHUM introduced in RX-8. And that's already a lot of notches. So we can push that up to around 500 and let's push the sensitivity up to around eight. So we'll render that now. It just takes a couple of moments to process it. And just watch what happens to the spectrogram. And you can see all those buzz sounds, the horizontal lines, if we just go back, all those lines, once we've processed it, gone. So let's take a listen to how that sounds. And there we go, job done. So moving on to the squeak module, we'll turn that off and we'll turn that one on and just move that down out of the way because we've got the guitar squeak classic one just here. And the player's just caught the string and we had that classic squeak sound. Before RX-8, to fix this, I'd have probably gone in and used spectral repair to draw around the squeak and some of these harmonics uh, to just get rid of that sound without getting rid of all the natural sounds of the guitar, the notes here that you can see sustaining through. But let's see what the squeak module can do in guitar denoise. Now we've got a choice of a short or long squeak. I think this one's quite long, so we'll check the long option. And if we just put the cursor here and have a preview, have a listen to that. So you can hear that we've still got a little bit of the squeak sort of off in the reverb. So let's just up the sensitivity, see how that will help. Okay. Maybe not so much. Let's try pushing up the reduction as far as we can go. See what that does. And there we go, job done. Next, we're gonna take a look at the new spectral recovery module. Now, this example is a recording using an ISDN line set to the G722 codec. Let's take a quick listen. This is a test recording of the new Isotope RX-8 spectral recovery module to see whether 
the new module can put back the high frequencies lost through this G722 ISDN codec. And you can see from the spectrogram that anything above 7.5k just doesn't exist. It's not a filter. It's not really. It is a filter. It's what we call a brick wall filter. But it's not just tailing off. It's gone. It's Well, in fact, in terms of what we're listening to here coming back from the ISDN line, it never got here. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to well, put back, we're not going to be able to put it back because we've never had it to have, but recreate something that would actually put all those high frequencies back. And that's one of the things that we can do with the spectral recovery module. So what we do is just, we don't need to highlight anything, just click learn. It's now analyzed all the material and it's worked out where the cutoff point is. And it's adjusted all these controls to get as near natural sound as possible. Now, you need quite a powerful computer to actually use this in preview. So I'm, what I'm going to do at this point is just hit the render button so that it just renders it out. And watch what happens to the spectrogram as it finishes, because you'll see audio material filling this empty void. And there you go. So let's take a listen to that now and I'll switch between the two as we go through. This is a test recording of the new Isotope RX8 spectral recovery module to see whether the new module can put back the high frequencies lost through this G722 ISDN codec. And what you can hear is just those really nice bits of sibilance which are crisper that just didn't make it through the G722 codec. But this isn't all that the spectral recovery module can do. If we take a look at the presets, we'll see some indications of the other things it can do. Obviously, it can enhance a phone memo recording. So often again, those uh, are like this ISDN recording where the materials just got cut off at a high frequency. But what I want to highlight are these two down here, the restore high quality MP3 and restore low quality MP3. Because the other thing that the spectral recovery module can do, not only put back the missing high frequencies, but also it can patch holes in the frequency spectrum due to the lossy codec, in this case, say an MP3. Because as we know, when you create an MP3, you're throwing away some of the data. And what they've been able to do with the spectral recovery module is to work out what was thrown away and to recreate or to, or to synthesize a replacement to fill those holes, whether they're in the main frequency spectrum or the high end. The next new module we're going to look at is the wow and flutter module. Now, for those of you who are too young to remember the side effects of mechanical playback devices like tape machines or vinyl turntables, Flutter is the fast variations in speed, which manifest in fast variations in pitch, like this one. Take a listen. And then WOW is similar, but much slower variations. Take a listen to this version. Now, any of you with perfect pitch will have been um, very uncomfortable listening to that recording, as you can hear the pitch of the flute varying slowly. So that's wow and flutter. And here's the module. And you'll notice that in the module, there is no preview button. So we've got the compare and render button. It appears at first sight to be quite difficult to use to set up without having any form of preview. But the clever people at Isotope realized that this would be an issue. And there is this special option. So if we just go back to the Flutter example, set up Flutter, there's this option here 
to display flutter you would think again something would immediately appear not the case here what we have to do in fact is to render out uh, a version now what's happening here is it's actually rendering it but it's not going to change the original audio it's going to give us some lines across the spectrogram which indicate the problem the amount and the and the speed of in this case the flutter but as you can see it's taking quite a while to process this was a 15 second file and it was going to take on my uh, mac pro uh, at 12 core it's going to take around a minute and a half to actually process so we're going to speed that up a little bit and then when it's done you'll see some lines appear across the spectrogram here they come and these lines give you an indication of the issue the the flutter you can see the sort of their little wiggly lines and that's just giving a sense of what the issue is here at this point if i now render that it's going to render a version with the lines on so it's important to go back to the initial state and then uncheck the display flutter and do another render so there we go it's done and you'll notice that all the harmonics and the lines of the fundamental of the flute part and the harmonics are all somewhat straightened out which is looking good so let's uh, take a listen to this and again i'll switch between the two as we play it And there we have it job done so let's flip over to the wow module and we'll go back to the wow example and again we just need to decide what sort of treatment it is so we'll treat it as medium there are some basic presets here that we can work to again we can use the display wow and run, render it and the good news is the wow module takes a little bit quicker <laughs> to process this so it won't take very long to get the finished version and again because i've used display wow we've got these lines and you can see the change in the pitch so again we'll take that off we'll go back to the initial state and we'll render that out and there you go you can see as it rendered out all the lines straightened up but we haven't lost the vibrato of the original recording so let's uh, take a listen to that and there we go another job done the last thing I want to show you in this demo video is the new improved music rebalance module. In this version two of music rebalance, Isotope have done two main things. One is to improve the overall quality of the separated files, the when you're really pushing it to extremes, how clean the individual elements are which obviously has a knock-on effect when you're just trying to make small adjustments just to reduce the vocal a bit or increase the vocal. That's only half of the story with the new music rebalance. The other one is all buried behind this separate button because this separate button enables us to produce stems from these four outputs. So it's going through and producing four new audio files. You can see them up here, vocal, percussion, bass and other and it's going through and creating me four stems for want of a better word out of this mixed file so all it's got is the mixed file and what we end up with is these separate files so nearly done so we've got the original one here And then we can take a listen to the individual stems. 
So we've got the vocal one here. So that's the vocal, and we've got percussion. And bass. And then everything else. Now yeah, it's not perfect, but it's an awful lot better than the version one of Music Rebalance. And just extends what we're able to do with Music Rebalance. So that's it for this demo video. If you want to know what we think about Isotopes RX-8, then do check out the full article on the main Production Expert site. I'll see you again soon.